Well, welcome to the US presidential election cup and what a year it's been for America. With voter suppression, rioting and court rulings, it really is the nation that stops a race. Let's have a look at the field. First up, Fox News. Trainer Rupert Murdoch was always going to field this workhorse. He'll start in gate one, out on the far right. Look for him to stay in the background and control the field from there. Next up, the reigning champion, the Donald. What a magnificent horse, a tremendous horse. Nobody knows more about being a horse than the Donald. In gate three, it's Sleepy Joe. He's the oldest horse to ever compete in this race. Stable mate to former champion stallion, yes we can. He was destined for the glue factory, but now a clear front runner. In gate four, COVID, the Chinese mayor. Look out for her, she's been a threat all year, as has a global recession in gate five. Postal votes will jump from gate six and could determine the outcome of this race. Gate seven, hopes and dreams are unlikely to feature strongly. Same goes for climate crisis in gate eight. In gate nine, Supreme Court, a controversial late entry six days out. And in gate 10, the possibility of civil war. The old mayor democracy is still in contention, but she will be ridden heavily by controversial obese jockey, Electoral College. And rounding out the field are open war Warfare, Dr. Fauci, and it's a shit show. And they're boxed and ready. Okay, I don't know if that was a starter pistol or an armed rider in Philadelphia. It doesn't matter because they are off and racing. Hopes and dreams in a good position early. So too, democracy. Just back from democracy is the Donald and COVID going stride for stride. And Sleepy Joe is still bunkered down in his gate. A bizarre tactic from the veteran. No, wait, he's now on his way. Further back in the pack, it's a shit show with a global recession, climate crisis and the possibility of civil war. Just behind them, Dr. Fauci is in a losing battle with COVID. And a couple of lengths back is postal votes being undermined. And at the rear, open warfare. As we enter the first debate, the Donald has bucked his Republican jockey, trying to rein him in. He's bucked him right off, and all of a sudden, Sleepy Joe is looking strong and dependable without doing anything particularly inspiring. Dr. Fauci is trying to get on top of COVID now, but the Donald is in the way. He has ditched his bridal mid-race. He's refusing to wear anything on his face. Bold move, but it's working. The Donald is catching up to COVID. Catching, catching. The Donald has caught COVID. Now it's a shit show getting near them both. Dr. Fauci tries to slip past the Donald, but open warfare gets in the way. It's open warfare between Dr. Fauci and the Donald now. Incredible stuff. And back in the pack now we have Supreme Court blocking postal votes with support from Fox News. The Donald is rallying hard and they are all ganging up on democracy. Oh no, democracy has taken a nasty fall. The Electoral College is riding democracy hard into the ground. It's literally flogging a dead horse as they turn into the second and last debate. COVID, COVID, COVID. That's all anybody is talking about. It's rounding the corner, but it's not slowing down as predicted. If anything, it's accelerating Rating. Sleepy Joe is slipping away. Wait a second, I don't believe it. A former champion has entered the race. Yes, we can. He's pushing Sleepy Joe toward the finish line, but it's the Donald making a late charge, leading the Supreme Court into the home straight, followed by the possibility of civil war. Fox News just behind them, almost willing them home. COVID is spreading the field. That'll encourage a global recession. Hopes and dreams have dropped off badly, as has climate crisis, who I'd forgotten about completely. Postal Votes is making a late charge, but will it get there on time? There's only seconds left. It's Sleepy Joe and the Donald they're neck and neck. The Donald is claiming victory before he's crossed the finish line. Sleepy Joe being a little more cautious, but either way, it doesn't matter because it's a shit show. He's first past the post. That's right. It's a shit show. He's the clear winner in the US Presidential Cup. Congratulations to a donor, 2020, and the whole team behind. It's a shit show. Oh, and news just in. Sadly, democracy has broken down and will need to be euthanized. Children, look away. Thanks for joining us. What an unfulfilling race. See you again in four years. That was the final episode of Sammy J for this year.